Hi, in the section 5.1, the Poisson regression. So we start with the, what the Poisson distribution is. So the Poisson distribution for the count variable y is given by this. So probability of y is the e to the power mu times the mu to the power y divided by the y factorial. And y is 0, 1, 2, 3. And that can be infinitely large. And the mu is a positive parameter. And the expected value of y is mu. And the variance of y is also mu. So mu dominates the both expectation and the variance. So it's similar to binomial random variable. And here, the code to the, uh, draw the three histogram, probability histogram of the Poisson distribution. So parameter is 0 0.5, 2, and 5. And when parameter is larger, that we have a larger value of y. So parameter is small, the almost always, y is either 0 or 1. So we have the smaller range for smaller y, smaller mu here. Then, so these are the probability histogram. So mu is equal to 0 0.5, then average is 0 0.5, but the, actually this is heavy tailed. So sometimes even three, four, or five, but most of the time zero with more than 60% probability and one with 30% probability and so on. And the mu is equal to two, the center is two, and actually the mode is also the two and one. And there's some small probability to have very large value of y, but most of the time, maybe the zero to three or zero to four. Mu is equal to five, the mode is five and four, and the, it becomes um, more symmetric, but still there we have the tail part. So this is the uh, Poisson distribution and several there are several important properties of Poisson distribution. So at first, the Poisson distribution is the limit of binomial distribution when n goes to infinity and p goes to zero. So n is number of trials, so we have infinitely many number of trials, but the infinitely small probability, so p goes to zero. So the product of n and p. So n p is the expected number of success. So when n goes to infinity, p goes to zero. The important quantity is that what happens for n p. So in here, actually, the mu is equal to n p. So that's why the expectation of y is equal to mu. So for binomial, the expectation is n times p. And the second property, the, if the expected count is in disjoint intervals are independent then and also the proportional to inter interval lengths then the count for a fixed in interval is Poisson. So think about the number of phone calls the call center received per hour or per minute. And so the first hour and the second hour they basically that we have the same distribution maybe the third period, maybe we only have 30 minutes, then we expect just the half of the calls in that time period. And the, those three periods are independent. So in this case, for a certain interval, if we take and the count the number of calls, that distribution is Poisson. So that's why the Poisson distribution appears in many places. And the third property, so if the interval between events are expo exponentially distributed, so that means that we count the interval. So we have time scale and the, a rare kind of rare event happens at times. Maybe the number, the phone calls to the call center and the at each specific moment, probability to get a new phone call is small, but the, occasionally we receive phone call. And we think about the interval of this 
rare events. So x1, x2, x3, x4, and so on. And if this xi follows exponential distribution of some parameter lambda, so that is the lambda to the power e to the power negative lambda x, so the density is this. So if the x follows exponential distribution, then the count within a fixed interval, maybe from zero to one. So this is the number of occurrence is Poisson distributed. So this is another reason that the Poisson distribution uh, often appears and often appropriate for modeling the current data. And because of the property too, the disjoint interval and independent then um, the count is fixed interval. S count for the fixed interval is Poisson. Um, this implies that the summation of yi when yi is independent Poisson random variable, sorry, the independent Poisson, then this summation of yi follows the Poisson of the summation of mu i. So this is convenient because the sum of Poisson random variables is again a Poisson random variable. 